Hello friends, welcome to Open Source DB Expert channel. Today as a part of this video, we are going to discuss how to become a database administrator, then what is the career path for a open source database administrator. Okay, these two topics we are discussing in the same video friends. First we will discuss how to become a database administrator. Okay. See friends, what is meant by DBA? DBA stands for database administrator. Okay who is responsible for the following responsibilities like database installation, database patching, it's nothing but upgradation from older version to new version then man managing the user credentials, credentials is nothing but privileges okay then database backup, restore, if something went wrong you need to recover the data that is point time recovery then database availability concepts like replication, cluster setup, then managing, troubleshooting then database design, it's not architecture level, at least basic idea like table creation, then index creation, table alter, this kind of basic work, okay. Then helping to the developers in case of any connection issue or update privileges, reworking, all the stuff. Then monitoring long running queries and query tuning, okay. Then database tuning, database security, capacity planning and apart from that we need to monitor in the database servers like replication, DB health, max connections growing the db size all those stuff then logs review like error log general log transaction log slow log this kind of logs you need to review for increasing the performance okay these are the main responsibilities as a database administrator friends okay now we'll see what are the simple steps to become a database administrator first step we should have education qualification at least minimum graduation okay graduation should be regular friends see because most of the companies they might ask regular graduation some some companies they might not ask regular graduation so they might accept like distance education as well okay but 90 percent companies they might ask regular graduation okay distance education some companies they might not hire okay graduation is compulsory post graduation is not compulsory it is just add an advantage nothing okay but if you have post graduation they won't give more hike okay graduation is same post graduation also same okay post graduation just for add an advantage okay it is not compulsory what about education percentage suppose if you are graduation you have completed and you are trying to like uh, uh, like applying some jobs as a presser dba i mean like junior dba so they might ask like some companies 60 to 70 percent aggregate some companies 70 to 80 percent like that they might ask okay some companies even if you have a talent then they will not care about the education percentage but if you have experience like at least one year two year three years nobody will ask you the education percentage okay as you know in india most of the company they will ask experience okay if you don't have experience then it is difficult to get a job as a junior dba if you put three place four place most of the companies will hire you okay so that is the way so experience is not compulsory but if you have experience you will get more opportunities if you have zero to three years less opportunities but anyway you can get a job okay try and try okay don't lose confidence okay if you have less experience like than three years just try and try at least one company they might hire okay if you have three place four place then most most of the companies will hire you okay you can apply jobs in nokri okay linkedin jobs monster time jobs many portals will be there you can apply for jobs you can try as a junior dba if you have experience you can apply as a senior DBA, database administrator okay then coming to step 2 decide which dba course want to learn this is very important friends because once you once you done your graduation or post graduation you are starting your career as a database administrator okay we have to decide which database we need to learn we have different databases you might confuse enterprise databases there open source databases there no sql databases it's trend now no SQL databases it can be open source it can be enterprise okay you have to decide which database you want to learn see friends here coming to enterprise databases we have different types like here oracle dba ms sql dba db2 oracle you know oracle product ms sql microsoft product db2 ibm product so these are 
famous enterprise database if you have interest you can learn enterprise database dba okay but our channel itself open source dba expert channel okay we'll we'll discuss more about open source databases only because everybody know open source databases are high demand courses okay here you can see mysql dba postgres dba maria dba okay these are open source databases if you like open source databases you want to get a job very quickly and good package then you can go with open source databases okay then no sql databases now terabytes of data we are storing right like uh, it can be content management system it can be video files audio files like twitter facebook whatsapp so no sql databases also famous in the market here open source as well as enterprise editions will be there even you can learn mongodb or cassandra redis coachbase coachdb orient db there are many databases in the market okay even open source enterprise edition your experience so here we have three different types of databases enterprise db databases open source databases no sql databases okay friends you can choose any database one database is when initially you want to get a job then you can ladder you can learn multiple databases you are this okay it can be enterprise databases or open source databases or no sql databases okay you can choose career path one technology at least okay initially then ladder you can learn based on your company requirements okay see step 3 at least we should have basic sql commands see like uh, select insert update like at least sql commands idea ddl dml dcl tcl dql basic idea you should have so better learn at least pl sql basic also like basics means like uh, what is trigger what is store poser okay what is cursor unions joins this kind of at least okay constraints what are the constraints you have not in depth knowledge at least basic idea is compulsory okay pl sql sql commands idea is compulsory then step 4 learn basic linux commands okay most of unix or linux means now everybody using linux flavors like red hat fedora centos even open source ubuntu is there okay so basic linux commands is compulsory not in depth knowledge like configuring firewalls configuring ip address okay os installation not in depth knowledge at least basic unix or linux basic commands okay better learn one cell scripts it can be cell script or pel scripts okay not in depth knowledge if you have better knowledge on at least basic idea on cell scripting it can be cell script or pel script that is add an advantage then step 5 first if you have less than 3 years of experience first look for junior db roles okay okay what are the roles we have in the market that i have already explained in my previous video we can refer it friends okay then if you have experience 3 years 4 years then you can apply as a senior database administrator okay so as you know in india most of the companies will hire experienced people only if you don't have experienced people i mean if you don't have experience only few companies only they will hire you if you put 3 plus 4 plus then most of the companies will look your resume and they will hire you based on your talent okay so for freshers better apply for junior dbs for 0 to 3 years of experience if you have 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus you can apply for even senior dba roles also okay that is friends then here you can see comments can you move into a dba role from different technologies yes friends suppose if you have five years of experience on testing or java developer php developer dot net developer or or like automation testing or in some other database other technologies where you have already working then you want to move into the database role means no problem you can move learn any databases open source or enterprise or no sql then you can move into the database role friends okay as a dba you can apply it can be junior dba it can be senior dba your wish friends so in real time nobody will check on which database technology they have worked in your previous company just they will check whether you have already worked in that company or not okay they will not check whether you have worked on database admin or you worked as a tester or you have worked as a developer they will not ask you okay if you have five years of experience then you can look into dba role okay 
then they will, based on your talent they might hire you as a junior db or senior db okay so you can move from one technology to another technology no problem friends okay but you should prepare very well okay you have to concentrate on database technologies backup restore point and record what are the responsibilities which i have discussed that we need to prepare inter equations along with inter equations then you can get a job very easily okay so you can move from one technology to database role okay no problem what about database administrator salary okay here i will discuss only about open source databases okay so for open source databases demand will be very very good friends okay compared to enterprise db databases because it's very free right no need to pay anything no no yearly maintenance no cost maintenance nothing right so database itself it is available as a free cost then most of the people nowadays everybody using open source databases and competition will be very less friends it can, it can be mysql postgres mongo whatever it may be for these database technologies salary is also very good compared to enterprise databases whatever you expected more than that you will get no problem then here what is the career path for a open source database administrator that we are going to discuss now friends so as i told what is open source means it's a free way we are getting a software itself free no need to pay any license some take oracle we need to take we need to take the license from oracle in case sql server we need to take the license from microsoft in case db2 we need to take the license from ibm so these are enterprise license we need to take the license from vendor so without license you can't use because those are enterprise databases coming to mysql postgres maria db mongo db cassandra these are open source databases it can be no sql or rdbms okay software itself it is available at a free of cost then everybody will look into the open source databases only so even most of the people nowadays they are migrating their databases from enterprise databases to open source databases so demand will be very 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 good friends okay compared to enterprise databases for open source databases package is also very good and opportunity is also very good friends okay let me show you no cre okay see friends here you can see check for mysql db see friends here how many openings will be there see for maria db mysql database administrator see friends you can see there are lot of op opportunities for mysql dba okay even if you search for postgres dba okay there are many openings friends okay for open source databases openings will be very good see for postgres dba i will search for see friends postgres database administrator postgres dba see package also can see here how much they are offering okay see friends package also very good for open source databases compared to enterprise databases there are many migration projects going on okay you can get a job very easily even if you search for mongo db or cassandra also very good for no sql databases see mongo db db with mysql db ah here i will tell you one logic friends suppose if you have enterprise already you are working on enterprise dba like oracle db db2 db or teradata db some sql db they might ask you open source databases like it can be mysql postgres or mongo db if you put or if you have having like four place five place of experience in mysql or mongo postgres nobody will ask you enterprise databases but if you have already having enterprise databases knowledge also they will ask you open source database knowledge so that is advantage friends if you learn only open source database nobody will ask you to work on enterprise databases but if you learn enterprise database in real time they will ask you to work on open source databases as well okay that much demand will be there for open source databases okay that's what i will recommend you open source databases friends even our channel itself open source db expert channel so i will always recommend open source databases only compared to enterprise databases because there is no comp i mean very less competition i don't say i mean competition will be very less okay no competition means very less competition compared to enterprise databases for enterprise databases jobs will be there competition will be very high 
If you want to get a job very quickly without any like less compression means you can go with MySQL DBA, MongoDB DBA. There are many open source databases friends. Here I will show you what are the open source databases will be there in the market. See here you can see these are the very MySQL, Postgres, MariaDB, MongoDB, Cassandra, Redis, Cosbase. These are high demanded database courses friends you can learn mysql dba or postgres dba maria db mongo db apache cassandra redis coach base based off like you were in test you can learn any course friends all are high demand courses you can learn any technology in Shelly. then based on your company requirements you can learn other technologies you can get like add an advantage i will get good high candle okay at least first start with mysql or postgres any rdma then you can learn any NoSQL database, it can be Apache Cassandra or MongoDB or you want to start your career as a directly NoSQL means better learn MongoDB or Apache Cassandra ok even Couchbase also now demand will be good your wish friends you are starting with a career like RDBMS means I will suggest you start with MySQL or Postgres or MariaDB you are trying to start your career in NoSQL side means start with MongoDB or Apache Cassandra or Redis or Couchbase. No need to learn all courses friends. Learn at least initially one technology. Then once we get a job based on your requirements, based on your company requirements, learn new technologies. So that's it friends. Okay. Okay friends, thanks for watching my videos and I hope you like this video.